Queen here. Life after money. Now it's ten past four on a Sunday afternoon and I'm glad to sit down and have a coffee. I've been busy today. Have you got a coffee? This is this is uh, caramel latte. Very nice. Um, yeah, I've been busy today. Cheers. It's been a lovely day. Uh, sunshine this morning. It's not sunny now, but it's quite warm and, and it's dry. So I got on with the garden. Um, did some weeding first. I've got some slabs out the back there and the weeds grow up in between them. So I get a cushion on the ground, kneel on it, get a knife and scrape the weeds out in between the paving slabs. Um, so that was about an hour-ish and then I had lunch and then I thought I'm going to get the mower out because uh, the ground's pretty dry and it's about time I started to mow the lawn. So I got the mower out and uh, plugged it in. It's an electric mower and it's absolutely amazing that it starts every time even though I'm very sloppy about maintenance and looking after it. Um, it's a mower that I bought years ago, a cheap mower from B&Q and uh, I couldn't afford a fancy one so and they already had the electric cable anyway from a previous house and um, so I got this mower, cheap one, it must be, I don't know, about 15 years ago not that maybe 14 years ago and you know when I finished the season in the autumn and I no longer need to cut the grass I just put it away and then in the spring I get it out again <laughs> and it just keeps on working I mean the the blade is is pretty shot actually <laughs> it's full of um, notches I'm, I'm thinking I might see if I can file it smooth and uh, I've got one of those um, thingies and you can file it for sharpening knives, sharpening shears, that kind of thing. I might try and sharpen the blades on that mower because although it does the job, um, it doesn't give a very neat finish. <laughs> But I'm not bothered because because there's not a lot of grass in my lawn. <laughs> there's, there's all sorts grown in my lawn. But I don't mind because it's green. <laughs> that's, that's all you need, something green. So uh, anyway, I might just have a look at that and see if I can sharpen the blades. I'm sure there must be... Um, a way that I could just buy the blade for it um, but as I don't want to go shopping at the moment um, I will try and make that mower it, it probably last another season it's you know it's amazing I can't remember how much it was but it was the cheapest one they've got have you got a coffee cheers so when I'm cutting the lawn I have to move things around as well although uh, most of the, the lawn is clear of bits and bobs but I just have to pick things up and mow around them as well when I get to the right far end of the garden the bottom of the garden behind the hedge I uh, take the, the grass box off because my bin is now full and uh, so I go over the last bit without the box and it just spits the grass everywhere <laughs> but it's all right because it's at the bottom of the garden nobody can see it 
Um, so the bit I can see out of the back window there looks looks quite nice. And uh, have you got a coffee? Oh, this is nice. Anyway, the reason I'm making this little video is because I've finished a piece of art. Um, I can't remember if I've shown it you before um, during its construction, but anyway, it's done now. So here we are. I'm not sure what to call it, the name of it. So, is the light good enough here? Because it's quarter past four and it's a little bit dull so this is it it's a box let me just stand the other side of the camera so I can have a look at what you're looking at here getting a little bit of shine off it because the lights coming in through the window so what is it it's a a box somebody gave me this box it had more partitions in and smaller compartments and I took some of the partitions out because I didn't want a lot of small compartments and in there was um, seeds and dried beans and there was a glass front to it and this lady in the village she'd had it for many many years I was sick of the sights of it and do I want it so I said yeah I'll do something with it anyway what I did was you might have seen remember I did something like this before uh, I did two smaller ones and a really big one this is slightly bigger than the two smaller ones and uh, painted it black and I stuck on sort of little bits of fabric to give it some texture uh, little bits of lace um, painted it all black and then I've stuck on nail varnish bottles so most of them are empty some of them are not and it's very hard to get the last dribs and drabs of nail varnish out of the bottle so I gave up with that and I thought well they're going to get used whether they've got nail varnish in them or not so anyway so I've arranged them all stuck them down I had a little problem with the sticking down painted them first by the way painted them black and uh, stuck them all down with my hot glue gun uh, which normally is brilliant it just sticks anything instantly but there was about three or four of these bottles that it didn't like and they came loose so I'm not sure if all all these bottles are made of the same type of glass but three of them or was it four of them came off and um, and I I haven't really got any other suitable glue so <laughs> I had to go around to my friend who's um, into woodworking and he gave me some super glue which did the job so they're all stuck down tight this is this little glass bottle was already on there so, and it was stuck that was stuck tight so I've left it on and uh, and I just did a few sprigs of flowers painted black there so when I've stuck them all on uh, and give it another coat of black and then I've got some a little pot of um, metallic copper paint and I just got a, a brush and just sort of lightly wafted it over because I wanted it to look like it was rusty and I think I've achieved that so uh, there you go um, I did think about having lots of different coloured tops um, I didn't want to leave them all with the different coloured tops because that would be too obvious that the nail varnish bottles and I, I wanted to and then I, I whittled it down first of all I had a coloured bottle top on each of the shelves but then I thought no just have one red one so I thought that was just a little bit different and um, 
there you are. I'll show you a, a bit of a close up before we go. So it's it's quite heavy. It can be hung. It's got a hung, hanger on the back of it. There, look. I like it. Yes. It was something I wanted to do. Something I wanted to try. It didn't cost me anything. Everything here has been given to me. So you know, this is what I like to do make art out of things that other people don't want. I asked the ladies in our chat and craft group if they've got any spare nail varnish bottles and yes they did have some. I've still got a load left. <laughs> so I need to do something else with them now. But I quite like all the different shapes of the bottles. Some of them are square and chunky. Some of them are quite long and slender and round and flat and yeah, quite interesting shapes there anyway that's done now and i moved on to something else i feel like i want to do some sewing now i keep moving on to something else so it's time to sew you got a coffee cheers oh it's nice i don't have to cook tonight because I've got a stew in the pan ready to warm up made it yesterday and what am I doing now well I just want to make a little picture now and I just had a, a an idea to to felt felt is so easy to use so I thought and I like folk art because it's quirky it doesn't have to look like the real thing it can be jolly, fun, uh, a little bit sort of cartoonish. I like folk art. So what I've done is, and I've got a frame exactly to fit that. So I've got a hill. I've got a green hill, and now I'm stitching all that. I think what I'm going to do is maybe I'm going to put some flowers on it and. I'm going to put maybe some little houses and I want to put a sun on it somewhere maybe a sun in the corner that corner or that corner and I'm going to put things that go over the top there my flowers trees Do you remember the lollipop trees I did I could make smaller versions of lollipop trees so this is really just see how it goes sort of thing you know just play with it so I'll let you see that when it's finished I've only just started it a couple of days ago and uh, there you are something else on the go and of course once the garden starts growing there's going to be plenty of work out there and uh, I didn't go walk today um, because it's a Sunday and there will be probably lots of local village people out walking because it's been a nice day so I will go walk tomorrow <laughs> I think we've got about three days of this nice weather so I'll go walk when everybody else has gone to work and um, right that's about it I think I think at some point I think at some point in um I think at the end of this month we can go out we can go out of our area but like for a walk um, but only for a day but to come back in the same day that's what I gather I've been trying to work it out I think that's what's going to happen and I think sometime in the middle of April uh, they're going to be opening um, campsites so that might be a possibility for next month which would be quite good because April the weather should be getting a bit better then oh, so something to look forward to have you got a coffee? well it's half past four I'll um, have my dinner about six o'clock I might just slip in a, a walk around the village now 
Yes, I might do that. I like to fill every minute <laughs> and do something. I did a blog post this morning, so that job is done. Anyway, I'm going to go and let you have a, a look at this thingy on the table. Thingy, what should I call it? I don't know. I'm just moving you, by the way. Zooming out. <laughs> so, you see, the way I look at it is that that red top is the odd one out. And it doesn't fit in with the rest of them. It's different. And that, that's how I, I see myself. Let me turn it round. That's how I see myself. I am. I am the odd one out. And I'm different. So that's, that's me. <laughs> oh dear. It's catching the, um, the light from the window here. Ooh. Maybe I could take it over here. There you are, look. Where's that picture on the wall? Look, that picture's still on the wall there. I think I need to put it away. It's been up there long enough. No cats today. One's outside and one's in bed. So, this is me, Queen. Like after money. Thank you for popping in. See you next time. Bye.